Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so, how do you usually practice to playing a keyboard? I usually practice with my teacher in my home. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Raditya My name is Ahmad Fadira Jindra And we are from 9.1 Kita ni Kita ni <laughs> <laughs> The timing bro Next, next okay. So today podcast are going to uh, It's going to be about Indonesia as the electric battery manufacturer Yes And then for Okay, I think I'll explain first, okay? Uh, as we know, electric battery manufacturer is basically um, some sort of factory mm. or a manufacturer that creates electric battery made out of lithium and nickel. Yes. And as we know, Indonesia has a lot of resources based uh, for that fac- uh, factory or manufacturer. We can take advantage from our natural resources. But... Um, Creating a manufacturer about electric battery can bring up two effects. It can be good and it can also be bad. Yes. And today we're going to talk about both sides. Yes. Okay. You want to give your opinion about Indonesia as the electric battery? Sure, sure. Okay. So from my opinion, in the good impact are, like Kevin say, we Indonesia have big resource of nickel and we're going to use nickel for creating a battery and electric cars and then we use the nickel for the cars not to export to the other country that make a big profit than selling the nickel to the other countries and then if we using uh, electric battery cars we should reduce the pollution in our country and because electric battery cars is not using is not creating a uh, pollution so kevin did you suggest anything okay so <coughs> i completely agree with your first opinion because indonesia have a lot of nickel and what you're saying is that those electric battery that are made from the manufacturer yes. can be used to make electric cars is that what you're saying yes okay of course. uh that's a good idea because <coughs> We will be using less gasoline, right? Because yes. electric cars use electricity. electricity. Yeah, but we do know that there are businesses in our country for uh, gasoline, like Pertamina, for example. Yeah. What if those company? Uh, no, sorry. If we use electricity for our fuel, then what about those gasoline um, businesses? Yes. They can go bankrupt. Yeah, man. So what do you think about that one, though? I think we not only focus on the cars because there is uh, some machine that need gasoline, like... Um, like planes. Yes, like oh, planes. planes okay. And then some turbine. Oh, turbine, okay. Yes, for creating electricity, man. Oh, okay. But as we know, in our country, our economy are unbalanced. And if we use electricity car, that will need more money to creating it and using it. And Kevin, can you s- explain why our country is not economy is not on balance? It's kind of, uh, our country uh, doesn't have a great uh, shape in economy because most of our country part lo- sorry like most parts of our country is still having problems with poverty. Okay. Because it's cost because young generation like us is having low education and low literacy and as well as us being lazy. Therefore, in the future, we don't know what to do and it causes us to have problems like unemployment, which can later become a p- another problem of uh, poverty. Yes. And if we have problems with poverty, then we do know that if we made an uh, uh, electric battery manufacturer for electric cars, which, co- uh, which costs expensive, which mm-hmm. is expensive, 
we do know that there are less people that are likely going to buy it because most people are still using manual cars. Yes. And just like you said uh, earlier, yes. our economy is not in a great shape. So uh, if we uh, don't have a lot of money, we don't, we can't buy electric cars. And if we don't buy electric cars, then that business, the business that create electric battery, will do uh, significantly yeah, will not succeed. Yes. Yeah. And how about the government movement? Oh, the government movement, right. So, as we know, our country just made a new rule for governments, our government bodyguards, right? Yes. The bo- government bodyguards has to use electric cars uh, to to patrol around the city, to go around the city mm. with the main government, like yes. the president or the vice president, yes. etc. I feel like it can be good because we we'll use less uh, gasoline, gasoline and we do know that president go uh, around places and regions in our country which is very wide our country is very wide and our president or our government have to go through um, special regions that are likely to be far away from them yes uh, so if we use electric cars we use less gasoline however we do need to recharge a lot that makes the car a little bit slower oh, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes the car sure slower and we need to recharge over time mm. like for example if we go uh 60 miles an hour we have to recharge for another four hours so that we can go another six miles yeah that will be creating more station like electric, yeah, electric station. stations not gasoline station yeah that's kind of yeah so moreover um we do know that to make an electric battery manufacturer we need to have an investment Mm. Because as we know, our nation doesn't have that kind of money to make that. Yes. To make the electric battery manufacturer. We need investments. Mm. Okay. From other countries or from people in our nation. But uh, we also know that other countries uh, has also developed their own electric battery manufacturer. Which can be, literally can be better than what we're going to make. Yes. That can cause a problem. How are we going to get the, that kind of investment or how do we get the money to make that electric battery manufacturer? Um, for my opinion, our, we should promote the electric battery cars. Also, we make uh, promotion videos. And yes, um, for sure. Because electric battery cars are need less gasoline or no gasoline, right? Okay, no gasoline at all. That's make interest to our people to by the electric city car and then we should make to pay the tax so yes. like increase the tax yeah no or not increase the tax yeah um, we make uh, the citizens to be more aware of paying taxes yes okay mm. so that we can get the money to build that uh, yes. factory <laughs> okay anyways um if you had an electric car and a manual car, which one will you choose? Like on your personal opinion? I think I, I'll choose the electricity car because my important things to do is not many or less. So if I use electricity car, I use it less than a manual car and I need less of electricity. I see. Because so if I use the electric car, I think it's not empty if I do my activities. Okay. Yeah, same here. I would also choose electric cars because I don't really go to far places that yes. takes um, more, more, more than one recharge to go there. Mm. I only go around the city or I personally take public transportation like uh, go-car, go-jack, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes buses to get around regions that are far away from me so yeah i would also choose electric battery uh cars anyways um moving on we do know that electric cars doesn't make pollution like air pollution yes no, we d- it doesn't produce smoke because it doesn't use gasoline yes which is good for our environment however we do know that our environment 
still needs to be taken care of uh, because there are other problems like people throwing rubbish everywhere. Oh, I know. Yeah. Bro. Mm. And if that, uh, if the rubbish are littered in our environment, we do know that it can cause the same problem. <laughs> so, again, uh, if us using electricity electricity cars is not enough we do uh, we still need to have responsibility in taking care of our environment by keep cleaning it yes do you know any ideas on how to keep clean our environment Be, uh, besides using electricity cars i think i can a uh, weekend clean our environment by Making a poster on the public places that this is important to throw rubbish in the trash can, not throwing in everywhere. And then for the government movement, he can plan many plan. Okay. Because reducing the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Because. Because the people will be using electricity car and manual cars, so that will be really important for okay. reducing the carbon dioxide for our earth. Yeah, for our earth. And naturally, and then, oh yeah, I'm forget to tell you that. How about the it? How about the the, the factory man? Oh yeah, the factory. There's pertaline cells. Oh, right, yeah, they um, can go. Uh, yeah, the business can go bankrupt. Yes, and that can become a problem. So, did you explain that before about the planes and the turbines? Ah, oh, the planes and the turbine. Yeah, yeah. You explained that one before, right? All right. But it's okay. We're still gonna talk about it. Yeah. So, what was your question again? It says, "How about the factory that produce?" Gasoline, like Pertamina cells and anything like that? Well, I suppose that um, people that doesn't have enough money to buy electricity, electricity cars would normally go for manual cars because it's a lot cheaper than um, electricity cars that uses electric battery mm-hmm. that are made from our electric uh, battery manufacturer. And those people that doesn't have enough money would uh, choose go, yeah, Pertamina. Would choose Petamina or like petalite, petrol or petamox, yes, biosol or whatever that is, uh, to support their daily needs to go places uh, in our city or yes. around our country. Mm. And uh, let's get back to the main topic. Okay. Creating an electricity battery manufacturer can uh, can be good, right? Because we use nickel and lithium, and we have lots of resources in our in country. Our country. Yes. However, as I said earlier, our education is still low. Oh. Uh, our education is still low, and when we get, uh, when we grow older, when we go, when we, uh, we face our future, and we have the duty to make the electricity battery manufacturer. How are we going to make that electricity battery manufacturer if our education as young generation is still low? Because we use most of our times to play on gadgets like games. Ah, that's true. Like Apex Legends, for example. Okay. Which is literally bad. Okay. I personally uh, watch um, like unimportant videos on YouTube that uh-huh. just entertain me rather than me understanding about my own country, which is a bad thing. So, yeah. Do you know any ideas on how to get these young generation to improve their education level or literacy level so that they can uh, have the potential to build the electricity battery manufacturer in the future? It's depend on government movement because as we know in our school there is many library right? Oh, right. and many books so it can be ourselves to know the responsibility of ourselves to learn new knowledge of mm-hmm. like um like about future? yeah like about things yes. that are advantageous for our country yes so are you saying that uh, our school I know sorry our government should create a more strict rule 
so that more young generations uh, can read more books and they are more active in learning, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Okay, so improving our education level from school libraries. Yes. Okay. We can... Um, Connect? Oh, take advantage. Yeah, from the library okay. to ourselves. Mm. So we're, we can learn about... If we're going to make an electricity battery manufacturer, we can read yeah. about uh, things that are connecting or have relation with mm. electric battery and how to make a factory, how to create um, uh, a leader or how to create a company yes. that can take advantage of resources in our country properly. Yes, okay. but the uh, reality is our country generation yeah. are less reading a book. Mm -hmm. That's make our generation is gonna be down and not yeah. creating a uh, new innovation in the future okay. but I think uh, I feel like uh, we can also um, use our knowledge and share it to other people so that more people will know ah, yeah, how yeah. to actually maintain and take advantage mm. of the resources in our country and they can, we can work together, we can create a group and work together to take full advantage and create that battery manufacturer. And with that being said, I think it's enough, isn't it? I think it's enough, bro. Okay. So it's enough. Yes. Thank you for listening. Thank I you really, for listening. We really appreciate your time. Thank yes. you for watching us. I know we had some ups and downs and our podcast didn't go as flawlessly. Yes. But so pardon if we made any mistakes. And thank you for Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh